Hey girl, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sitting down with y'all today and giving y'all a life update. I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to y'all and let y'all know what's been going on in my life. But first, a shout out to Sephora for sponsoring this video. Y'all, the Sephora Savings event is here. I love when the Sephora Savings event comes around because it's the perfect opportunity to stock up and also try new products that you've been wanting to try. Baby, I'm going to be stocking up, okay? And I am a Rouge member. I get first access. I get 20% off from October 27th to November 6th. You are a VIB member. You get to shop 15% off starting from October 31st to November 6th. So if you are an insider, you get to start shopping the Savings event October 31st to November 6th. Also, like always, Sephora Collection is 30% off starting from October 27th through November 6th. So make sure you take advantage of the Sephora Savings event. You do not want to miss out. And also, if you aren't a Beauty Insider already, click the link down below so you'll be able to sign up. It's so many perks and benefits to being a Beauty Insider. So you'll be able to shop online as well. And all you need to do is use code TIME TO SAVE at checkout. Thank you so much, Sephora, for sponsoring this video and everything that I use is from Sephora. Everything will be linked down below and the face is, is giving. The scent is giving mm -mm -mm. chef's kiss, baby. Okay, let's just hop right into this video. It's so long since I sat down and talked to y'all. So I'm just gonna be giving y'all a life update and we're gonna be doing our makeup and make sure y'all click the links down below for the Sephora Saves event on my recommendations on what I'm gonna be getting. And also, I'm going to leave some breaks on what I'm going to be adding to my cart that's just sitting there waiting for me to click checkout, okay? So, make sure you check the description box below. And my skin looks so good right now. I did the Shiny Darden peel the other day, and it just, oh my god, her peel is so good. Please go check that out, please. So, yeah, what I've been loving to do, y'all, when I do my makeup is apply Lip Plump. And this is the one by Dr. Dennis Gross. This is a new treatment y'all have to go get this when i tell you my lips look so voluptuous and juicy and also when i apply this i feel like i don't have to reapply lip gloss i feel like my lips are super hydrated so i really been just loving to apply this so i will be stocking up on this because i know i'm running low i gotta update y'all on everything that's going on in my life good and bad life just be life in what i've been loving to put on my eyebrows is the refi medium brown brow tint y'all y'all have to get this it literally looks like your eyebrows are tinted every time i wear this people are like are your eyebrows laminated and i'm like no but look how good even though my eyebrows need to be done a little bit the brow works amazing 10 out of 10 i've been really just loving a fresh face and brows like even if i'm not going anywhere special and i just put on my concealer so good and look at the lip lump it's working already i can feel it before we continue i want to talk about like body products because i did just get out the shower and y'all know i love the fenty butter drop this is the only body cream that i use every single day and y'all seen they just came back with warm cinnamon that smells like cinnamon buns that Aaliyah put us on it's already sitting in my cart waiting for me to shop that for the support savings event make sure y'all go stock up i love putting my sunscreen on y'all already know if you aren't wearing sunscreen girl what are you doing i bounce between shiseido and the fenty skin i really love both of these because they really give me a nice subtle glow well i like to mix my sunscreen mixed with the drunk elephant bronze drops look how good it looks i just look super bronzy glowy oh my god and it's so cozy in this room right now because i have the mason margella replica by the fireplace going y'all it's it smells so good it smells just like a fire and i got the oil diffuser and the candle going oh my god we're just getting the fall vibes in here. <laughs> this duo right here, the bronzing drops and the sunscreen. Yes. Go get it, girl. Go get it, girl. Mm -hmm. I love using my Donna Karen deodorant. This is the cashmere mist. I've noticed such a huge difference under my armpits. I don't know what they put in this, but I feel like it lightens up my armpit. I don't know. I've really been loving this deodorant. If you haven't tried it, now's the time. Okay, so now that I got the body products out the way, um, we're going to start our makeup. And we're going to get into the news, the 411. What's been going on, Kyra? 
What's been going on, Kyra? <laughs> we'll start with the most recent news um because i don't want to be crying during this get ready with me uh this is so hard to talk about even though it's she's doing good but just the thought of <sighs> the whole situation recently <laughs> oh this is so hard <laughs> There's no easy way to say this, but recently my mama had an aneurysm. Her blood pressure was so elevated that it tore, it tore, it ripped one of her arteries. So they had to do emergency heart surgery on her. This was right after I came back from church, like the weekend after, like that Monday. That day was like a blah for me. Like she had to go into surgery. She called me and she was like Kara, i have to go into emergency surgery y'all i just busted out crying like i was like oh my god i'm gonna come and she was like no Kara, you need to be strong for me and that's exactly what i've been trying to do because y'all know i'm like a super duper cry baby. when it happened um i was like just praying super hard and you know just just the thought of just uh, just the thought of it going wrong but I knew it wasn't gonna go wrong because thank God nobody could see her that first day but my stepdad was there making sure everything was all good the surgery went all good so then after that I went home I flew back home I was literally logged off she had to get another procedure after the a month after the first procedure because they had to go back in and fix something so now she's still currently in the hospital she already had her second procedure which i'm like it's just crazy to think that she had two heart surgery procedures so she's in the hospital it's just been a lot to deal with i just thank god every day for you know just watching over her just making sure she gets the strength that she needs to recover during this process because this is only temporary and i tell her this all the time i'm so used to my mama being my strength but i have to be the strength for her so she can get better so she can come back over here to atlanta and you know just give us all the positive vibes just this is what i've been dealing with i've been going back and forth trying to come back and do work just trying to go there just trying to balance between the two then also just keep my spirits high and i'm just so 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 i'm just so grateful to have um people in my life that check up on me every single day check up on my mama like i couldn't ask for like a better support system around me that is just always checking up on me and i'm just so grateful that god answered my prayers when i asked him if he can just bless me with the people that are supposed to be here so blessed my mama is still here the people around me i just feel so much love i feel loved i feel so much joy i've been loving on myself and just I just feel like so blessed, but that's just what's been going on right now. And I just want y'all to keep praying for my mama so she can get, you know, better. And they wanted her to do deep breathing when she was going through her AFib process. And I took a breathing treatment. I don't know if y'all watched that vlog, but I took a breathing treatment on how to breathe in the morning, during the day when I have anxiety, and then at nighttime before I go to sleep. Also, I just fell in love with walking, so I just can't wait to she's out the hospital and just wanted to move around she's taking her time i don't want her to rush her recovery process either but when she gets to that state where she's like okay i can get up and be mobile more because she does have to walk i just can't wait to be able to walk with her because i enjoy walking now so that's what's been going on that's what i posted on my instagram this this was her second procedure i posted on my instagram like please send so much love she was like did you tell them yet and i was like no because i really just wanted to deal with it in private but <laughs> this has been going on i just want y'all to you know just pray for her she did get back on her regular heart rhythm today thank you jesus lord please watch over my mama please allow her to get the strength that she needs to get over this recovery process lord please nourish her body with everything that she needs to get back to me get back to herself lord thank you so much in jesus name i pray amen yeah that's what's been going on i was literally dreading telling y'all because i knew i was gonna like cry and stuff because i'm like that's my mama that's like that's my strength when i don't feel like it that's 
literally who I call the first person I call when something is wrong. But yeah, I know this is just temporary and everything is gonna be. And don't mind this redness here from the lip plump, y'all. The lip plump is very very strong so if you get it on any other parts of your face on accident don't worry it'll go away but you'll see a slight little redness or inflammation on your face like it is right now don't mind that we finna get our face together i've really been loving just doing a light subtle beat with fancy or danessa myricks these are my two go-to foundations as of lately and i've been working so hard on my skin and i just wanted to you know just show and shine and glow between the danessa myricks yummy skin between the eavesdrop blur plus smooth tint stick in the number 14 i love these two so during the sephora savings event i highly recommend it. these two products they literally make my skin look like just enhanced and glowy and nice and just even today we're going to use the fenty stick i really love this it really just melts in your skin straight from the stick it's so good but actually first i lied actually first i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury to color correct under my eyes my under eyes been looking so good lately i do get prs i do go for my third treatment in a couple days it just helps tremendously just like to go in with this and make everything nice and even everything looks flawless wake up flawless okay y'all so we're gonna go down the timeline on things that's been happening recently in my life obviously y'all see me go see beyonce so many times can y'all believe fall is here already fall is here and she's ready i can't believe summer went so fast y'all but i'm actually putting together something that really explains my summer and how it made me feel and i just can't wait to drop this because it's just something i been wanting to do for a while so i just want to really test my creativity with this and so yeah just be on the lookout for that so if you aren't subscribed you need to right now and i'm just really so inspired by beyonce i know y'all are like why did she go see her so much just for the experience i got to see her first time the first time in london and that was my first time in london it was such a good experience i may want to move to london i don't have no kids yet i don't have a man I'm just like, why not go experience that Euro living life? Just to say I did it. Literally vibes. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I literally loved London. I loved going to Paris. I loved getting on the Eurostar. It was such a nice experience. And yeah, I can't wait to go back to Europe. I actually can't wait to go back on vacation. Obviously my tan is a baby. I don't like that. It's so many places I still need to visit, y'all. I can't even believe I've never been to Tulum yet. Explore different countries in the world. I want to go to Thailand. I want to go to Bali, maybe Bora Bora. Let me know down in the comments where y'all think I should go next. Um, because I'm itching. I'm itching for that paper. I love to create a story that's how, what i've been doing with my vlogs lately as y'all notice y'all like oh my god it's so cinematic so for concealer i'm gonna go in with the house labs mixed with the nars creamy concealer in the color biscuit and the house labs is um color 21 light medium y'all our under eyes will not crease i'm gonna stick beside it i'm gonna stick beside it <laughs> rear wise i love making my youtube videos but obviously I want to elevate and get into more things and as I'm like creating my content and my YouTube videos I'm really falling in love with like making small fills with my montages and just really telling a story because that's really what vlogs are essentially are putting everything together as an experience and I just love to make my videos an experience for y'all to be like damn it's over already I want to watch it again y'all been enjoying it I've been reading y'all comments I take y'all criticism and y'all feedback. I love looking at the comments and I literally, y'all are the audience. So why would I not listen to the audience? Or like, oh my God, I can see you making a film one day. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if that's in the bingo cards. Cause me, my mama being in the hospital was definitely not in the bingo card for this year. Yeah. And content is really what you make it. There is no right or wrong way to make your content. 
So I was like, you know, I'm just going to do this how I want to do it. It may take some time to edit. Like it literally takes me a good maybe a day and a half to edit a whole video because I go ahead and find the songs to go with the vibes or I just have to make sure all the clips look good and just, yeah, it just takes time and then I have to watch all the film back. It could be three hours worth of footage. Girl, it's just a process, but I just love putting that work in and y'all get that experience and I really do it for y'all so I love y'all my girls and I'm just really ready to elevate in my career I don't have a manager I never had a manager me and my mom do this like and with her health going on I really just want her to focus on her health when she comes out the hospital I'm going in with the NARS Cream and concealer for contour in the color chocolate. I love contouring with this. It's so creamy, hydrating, so easy to blend. Want her to focus on her health because, girl, why is she in a hospital bed still trying to reply to emails? I'm like, mom, please, just relax. Like, I've been trying to um, reply to my own emails, but sometimes it can get overwhelming for me because there's a lot sometimes. So it's hard for me to do emails, make content, post on TikTok, like do Instagram stories, reply back to y'all, you know, do stuff for my mental health. It's a lot sometimes. So I just, I'm praying to God that God really leads me into the right direction with maybe an agency, maybe a manager that, you know, gives me good vibes that I can, you know, help me get into these rooms that I want to be in or give me these opportunities that you know <laughs> that I feel like I want to you know take on I'm just really ready to hike this on the next level I might be making another Instagram too so maybe look out for that not anything like um related to like fashion or anything I may make a another page for my nails but there may be another um page coming out like like, not, not just my nails. Okay, there might be two Instagram pages coming out. So, for my nails and, like, you know, I love to take pictures of just anything. Um, and, like, create stuff. <laughs> so, I may make a separate page for that. And then something else. So, be on the lookout. Yo, when people be like, where do you see yourself in five years? Girl, I see myself thriving. That's all I know. I don't I don't know what's going to be in, but I see myself thriving, you know? Because I never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You never know what's going to happen next week. I don't have, like, a set, like, plan. I'm just going with whatever God allowing in my life. So, I'm going to let him do his big one, you know? And I'm getting closer to God, y'all. I try to go to church every single Sunday. Sunday, it's like a routine for me now. I haven't made any friends there yet. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, you know, go to church. And I've just been loving it. I, it's just my Sunday routine to get the word in. And I always leave so feeling so blessed and anything that's new that i haven't gone to i get anxiety and i remember i had anxiety going to church for the first time even when i went to therapy for the first time i was crying i know like new environments can cause can really like up anxiety and i was like yeah i have my anxiety right now and i just start crying but as soon as like i get in there i was you know comfortable i like i love new things but then as soon as i do i'm like Ugh. <laughs> like what are you doing like it's excited but it's like i'm nervous because i know i'm gonna get emotional that's that's why because i know i'm gonna feel these emotions because i'm just an emotional person as y'all can see the face is coming together so yeah in life right now i'm just trying to balance out being in wisconsin for my mama trying to be there for my mental health trying to elevate in my career i'm posting more on tiktok now so make sure you go follow me on tiktok <laughs> i'm on my tiktok get ready with me like y'all been loving the hair videos too i'm like wow I gotta keep getting my hair done. <laughs> but I always get my hair done, so it makes sense. And yeah, I always switch it up when it comes to quick weaves. I've just been having fun with different textures and styles. And 
y'all have been loving it over there on TikTok. So I'm going to keep doing it. That's really what life is all about. It's just having fun. Letting your hair down. Going to touch grass. Just having fun. Don't think too much into it. Just do you, boo. Have fun. The Laura Mercier press powder, y'all. It's... I, I I like it. I go in with the Laura Mercier press powder and this is in the color 2W106. So I like to go in with a press powder first under my eyes. And like I said, y'all, the concealer does not crease. Y'all see it's, it it didn't crease at all. So this combination, combination. Love, 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 love. But yeah, lately I've just been really loving on me and doing new things that I never thought I would get so much enjoyment from. Like I go on my walks every morning and that just gets me in my gratitude state. I just love doing different things now. Shout out to Kellya, cause Kellya is somebody who really gets me out of my comfort zone. This friendship blossomed um, when we went to London, she invited me. She was like, I'm going to see Beyonce. Because essentially, I booked her for my makeup. I booked her for my makeup. And then we, like, instantly clicked. Like, I'm like, oh, she's a cool girl. Yeah, I'm going to see Beyonce in London. Do you want to come, like, while I do my makeup? And I was like, yes. Oh, my God. Yes, I want to come. So that's how that happened and i'm a person i really take risks when it comes to friendships i am just that type of person because i still am very open to meeting new people because you never know who is supposed to be your people or who is supposed to be in your life so i'm like yeah because you can just you know you can cut somebody off quick okay i did this with Aaliyah too we took a girl's trip to Miami and we like this now but yeah she is somebody who gets me out of my comfort zone and <laughs> she does things that I would normally not do um so yeah I love her I love her life it was just a it's just a beautiful friendship that blossomed and I'm just so so happy to have her in my life and yeah I'm gonna go in and bake with the Givenchy Prism Libre powder it's like a pink color so I like to bake around my nose with this um and right now i have like a i have a guy group of friends as well <laughs> and it includes royal sean and tommy and we are it's just a it's just a lot of fun being with them i just never thought i would have like a group of guy friends it's crazy let alone all my friends like everybody like i just love how i have di these different connections with so many different people and they bring me so much joy and it's i just i'm just so happy to have them around like i'm really appreciative to have them around because it's hard making friends as an adult you don't know who to trust you just you just never know but i'm just so happy that you know i'm friends with beautiful people that really just make me so happy so i'm just i'm just grateful <laughs> So for eyes, I'm going to go in with the Danessa Myricks Beauty Groundwork Defining Neutrals. This palette is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So with this palette, she made it to be a one-stop shop, y'all. So basically, you can contour, highlight. So there's creams and then there's pressed powders for like eyeshadow. I got ready with Danessa Myricks. She's such a sweet lady. This palette was basically inspired by her journey because she used to create makeup. She didn't have enough money to go to the store. So she was like, okay, let me just see what I can do. Mix up, do a little chemistry one, two. And that's what inspired her to make this palette. You can color correct with this eyeshadow concealer. I'm just going to use this for my eyeshadow today. I'm going to be taking the color core. I guess I guess we can talk about dating in Atlanta. Dating in Atlanta is honestly trash. It's so trash. I've been single for a while. I was really focused on myself. I had to just take a break from talking to anybody this summer. Really focused on bettering myself, maturing myself. Because I really don't want to go in a relationship with toxic ways. Like, it's just not healthy. I can't focus. It's just not something I want to do in my next mature relationship moving forward i feel like now okay i can talk to somebody if somebody wants to approach me cool you just never know i want to date quality men i want to date quality men it doesn't matter 
how many dudes you have on your roster they not giving quality then they're just really taking up space crazy how men want to be treated like women these days you a sassy girl. I don't like these. I had like three potentials. The first one that I saw potential in, I thought he was cute or whatever. And this was like a month ago. Long story short, he was cool. It happened around the time when my mom had her, first had her surgery when I just wasn't talking. And I was like, yeah, I'll just get back to you when I get back into town. So then when I got back into town, because I had to come back and get some work done and then shoot back to Wisconsin. I texted him. I was like, hey, I'm back in the town. Like, what are you trying to do? And this was on a Saturday. I remember it because he was like, oh, OK, sounds good. What you doing on Monday? So you're brushing me off two days because I text him on Saturday. Damn, I can't see you on Sunday. Um, Maybe family day. I don't know. Normally when, you know, if they double life, they'll go ahead and have Sunday be their day with the family, which is cool. Monday, I was like, I'm working. I don't know if I'm overreacting. You know, maybe he did have plans, whatever. So I didn't even text him back. So then fast forward, I was with my homegirls and I was trying to see what's going on outside. And so I hit him up. I was like, hey, what are you doing tonight? blah 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 he was like oh i'm at this club come through with the girls and i was like okay bet so he went there whatever he had a section i was like oh my god my feet hurt he was like i can run them for you tonight and i was like okay like cool and i was on my period so it wasn't nothing going down and if nothing was going down anyways like no so i spent the night nothing went down like i said but we did like smooch the next morning we're watching a movie so we watched a movie i'm gonna spray my face Airbrush flawless filter, Charlotte Tilbury. We wake up the next day. We wake up. He orders me breakfast. We watch a movie. Literally, I'm over there until like one o'clock. It's time to go. I'm like, okay, I gotta go. Also, I really have to pay attention to how guys really carry a conversation, if you can or not. Um, Good thing that movie was playing because he was not holding a good conversation. So I was just like, this is weird. I'm ready to go. I called my car and then I bounced. I didn't hear from him. Like I'm really big on a man making sure a woman gets home safely. And if you don't do that, then you're not a quality man. I'm not even tripping. I didn't hit him up. He didn't check up on me and I felt some type of way. So fast forward, I end up seeing him again like weeks later um, on accident. This photographer was actually taking photos of me and I was at this little lounge. The photographer was like, hey, some, some, want you. And I was like, who? And then I look over and I see him and I was like, oh yeah, you're weird. I was like, you're weird. And he was like, no, I can explain. So he told me some devastating news happened in his family, which is understood. Um, Of course, like you want to log out. Nothing else matters. That is totally understood it didn't happen as soon as i got in that car he was like no i'm gonna try to make it up to you i'm gonna text you tomorrow I said no like i'm i'm like no like don't even waste your time um this is just probably not going anywhere it's just not aligning and i'm just at the point in my life where you got one time with me you got one time because i'm so sorry somebody is literally going to do what you want them to do the first time a grown man is going to know if he's interested or not i feel like i was just doing something because i haven't done anything like talk to like a man in a minute so i was like whatever kelly was there with me and she was like Ugh, this the guy you were talking about Ugh, girl you must have been so bored i thought he was cute personally but she was like ew no and when your friends give their opinion it's just like maybe i like his personality <laughs> Fast forward to another situation. Um, all these men I'm meeting in person too and they don't have a lot of followers, which is like a thumbs up for me. I'm gonna go in with the Sephora collection brush. I love this so much. This is in the number 50, it's tapered. I use this for many things actually. Press all oh, the powder in. I treat myself so well. I work so hard. I treat myself so well. To somebody to think they can come into my life and treat me low on how I treat myself is just crazy. I'm not gonna tell you how to treat me. You're either gonna do it or you're not. I'm a child of God and God is going to bring me who is supposed to be my person, okay? I really have faith in that and I mean, it's no rush. I'm still you know, out here, you know, living my best single life. And then there was another male that I met and he spent the whole weekend with me and my friends. And y'all get this, he was a twin. I was like, oh my God, is this my, is this my soulmate? He was a twin. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm a 
twin. <laughs> it was kind of cool to me. Like he was so cool. The same day I met him, he came to Midtown Market with us. He was out all night with us. We went on a date actually, and he was actually the person to put me on Deion Sanders. Yeah, you know, had our date, and then we went to a lounge, and then the Colorado versus Colorado State was on. And y'all, now I'm so obsessed with football. It's crazy. I'm just like, oh my god, this game is so good. Like, please take me to a, a Colorado game so so I can meet one of Deion Sanders' sons because they is. They are fine. Oh my god. Who the oldest? Which one is the oldest? Because I need the oldest. Okay. Next I'm gonna go in with the NARS Punta Cana for a little bit of color. We need to bring some color back into me. He was the one that put me on Deion Sanders. We was watching the game. Such good vibes. And then the next day we went to the football game. He came with us to the Packers and the Falcons game, which was so much fun. I can't wait to go to more football games. Jay actually was the one with this idea, but Kelly was the one that wanted to go to a soccer game that I was like oh my god this is so much fun sports are so much fun and I used to play sports so I'm like why have I never wanted to do this and after that it was like we just didn't align like he was cool but he wasn't giving like oh I want this to be my man and lastly right now recently I'm still you know we're still you know doing our thing um, but recently I've been talking to somebody that I really vibe with. We really get along, like my best friend type of thing. Like I can be my authentic self around him. He can be his authentic self around me. And then he recently just took me on this little getaway. Um, I don't know if y'all watched my TikTok, but I get did like a get ready with me for like a getaway and stuff like that. And you know, with stuff going on, I like to still do stuff for my mental health. I love to, you know, check out and just, you know, live in the moment. So I wanted to do that with him. So I was like, this is so exciting. I'm gonna get us paint. I'm gonna get us canvases so we can paint and like do the sip and paint thing. And he wanted to cook. So I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. I was like, yes, I'll, I'll come. And the date was so cute, y'all. We had such a good time. I went to go get lingerie and stuff. That's just the type of person I am. I wanted to be comfortable in the house. It wasn't essentially for him. It was for me to feel comfortable in the house. You know, I'm sipping my, my wine. I'm making, you know, you know, like cute. Something upset me and I love how he handled it. And I really have always just prayed for somebody with good communication skills to really listen and hear what I'm saying things that I feel like it may hurt my feelings. We did the whole date thing, but we had to go run a couple errands because we forgot some things. So we end up going to Target and Trader Joe's. So the first one, we went to Trader Joe's. I was like, oh my gosh, should we get like dick? Cause I still want to make a charcuterie board too. And he was like, no. And I was like, okay. Like I was like, whatever. Like he don't want the dip, whatever, cool. But then we go to Target and I'm a type of person that really goes above and beyond to create a vibe. Anywho, so we go to Target and we're literally about to check out. And I'm like, wait, should we get a candle? And he was like, no, I don't think that's necessary. We're only gonna be there for a day. You're not passing the vibe check, sir. Even though we do get along so well, I was just like, why can't I get a candle? And in my mind, I'm like, I should have just grabbed the candle because I can do what I want. I'm really not used to a man telling me no. I don't get too much of an attitude because like I said, I'm really working on my skills on, you know, trying not to be toxic and just trying to express myself in a healthy way. I went ahead and was like, yeah, with you, I think I'm just gonna, you know, just do what I want without asking permission because I feel like you're the type of person, I feel like there's a scale, there's a above average there's average and there's below average and I feel like you're like you're at average I just was like I'm just the type of person to create a vibe whether it be like the smallest thing he was just looking at me and just listening just not in his head and I was like why are you not in your head and he was like I'm 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 hearing you like I'm hearing you because we're still getting to know each other essentially so he's like I'm hearing what you're saying I'm just you know taking it all in i don't want you to feel like that and also you're right i should have just you know considered what you wanted to do because after all this is an experience for you as well and i was like yeah it was so nice even though he may not he probably isn't my husband it's just so nice to be in a situation where this man really is hearing like my feelings and seeing that they're valid you know what i'm saying and then when we got to the house 
um he stopped at the store and got a candle whatever but when we made it to the house he was like i'm still so sorry just very apologetic about it i don't want to argue i just want to have a simple conversation we hear each other out and we move past it because i've never seen that in person i've never normally like in the past if i would have said oh why well, we can't get a candle they would have said girl grow up it's a candle like stuff like that like his reaction wasn't like that and i i thought that was healthy and hopefully you know i come across more men that know how to communicate like that but it was just very nice to see that really like you know mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I told him I appreciated him for that. He was like, you're so welcome. And all I've been praying for y'all is just a beautiful, black, gorgeous man that just is just obsessed with me and knows how to communicate. That's all I want. That's literally all I want. The date was so cute. As soon as I got there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to change into my lingerie. And I, like I said, I do it for me, whatever. And I just like to be a little bit of a tease. But he was like, and I was like, yeah, this could have been unnecessary. <laughs> unnecessary? A candle? Spark a flame? Are you crazy? But I was just like, wow, this is so cute. Like, we was, like, cooking together, and that song came on. And it was, a, I felt like I was in a movie. I was like, oh, my God. I've really been loving Danessa Myers. Her stuff is so chef's kiss. I'm going to go in with the Bellini. This is one of her blushes I've really been loving. You're the coffee that I need in the morning. <laughs> And he gonna say, he was like, yeah, that's the soundtrack to our movie. I was like, boy, <laughs> look how gorgeous this blush is. Like, oh my God. I like to build off friendship first, essentially too, because I feel like if y'all are friends first, the respect is just at all time. Like, cause y'all, I want, I want a family. I want to have kids, like working hard, just. You know, it doesn't mean anything if you don't have nobody to share it with. You know what I'm saying? And there's no better feeling, you know, having a partner you can grow with and essentially be a witness to the greatness that you are going to have in your life. All this great stuff happening, you just want somebody to be there to witness it all with you, you know? <laughs> oh, I really like Patrick Todd's blush because I love that it comes with a cream and a powder. So I'm just gonna go on top of the blush. Y'all gotta get into Patrick Todd's products because his stuff is so good. And also he has a body glow that looks gorgeous on the skin. Like I said, all these products will be linked down below. And I just like to take a beauty blender and just go ahead and look at a wrist to give me like a um, some life back into my skin. I'm gonna mix the Charlotte Tilbury stick with the Refi. I'm just gonna go in with the two colors and then I'm gonna take that same beauty blender and just flick it a wrist again. And whatever happens in my life, I'm so appreciative to y'all for being here, rocking with your girl all the time. The appreciation that I have for y'all runs deep. Deep, 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 deep. I need to do a little bit more nose contour. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush bronzer. And this is just my, like, a natural everyday makeup. But when I go out, obviously, I'll add a little wing. And then when I do add wing, y'all have to go grab this. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have no idea what I'm going to be for Halloween. I've actually never dressed up now that I think about it. But all my friend groups are asking me, like, what we doing? Ain't nobody making no moves yet. So I am going <laughs> to essentially wait for somebody to make a move. Whoever shoots first wins. Now to go in with the lip combo, y'all. My room right now smells so good. Look how good my lips look. Y'all have to go to get the lip plumber. It's so good. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, just setting a vibe in here, just making it all cozy, and the nerve of him to say it's not necessary. It's crazy. But at the end of the day, he's a man, but at the end of the day, I should be running the shop. I just, I, I really couldn't believe he said that to me. This is my favorite 
lip liner. It's mm, so good. I love to go in with the Sephora collection lip stain. And this is in the color 32, which is nude blush, y'all. It's like the perfect nude. It's so good. And you only need like a little bit because it's so pigmented. Mm. This is stunning. Stunning. Stunning girl. So pretty. And then I'm going to go in with the YSL Candy Glaze. I the, the way this makes your lips look is crazy. Just the glaze we need to go on top. This this lip combination is everything. It's so good. Like, wow. Scent, y'all. I have to put it on to set the vibes. I'm going to go in with the Mason Margiela by the Fireside. Love, love, love. Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. Actually mix it with the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille because... The combination. Mm. Oh my god, my face is beats. We're ready for the day. Yes, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, she looking cute. Ready to take on the day. And I love my short hair right now, y'all. I just got my hair done and it looks so good i love the shortness i just really wanted something a little bit more mature and grown and i just love it i love this like deja really did her big one yeah y'all this is the face for the day love my nails y'all i've been really making mature decisions when it comes to my beauty maintenance i'm like let me just go for some like sexy red nails like i'm just you know here for the vibes and i'm just ready to you know just elevate and step into my grown a woman ish you know my grown woman era so yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed this life update and to continue to pray for my mama thank you all so much for the love bounce back and be 10 times better than she was before but i just wanted to let y'all know um what's going on in my life and just everything and yeah so <laughs> i love y'all so freaking much and i'll see y'all in the next video and make sure y'all don't forget to shop the sephora savings event and everything that i listed in this video you need to go grab and then also i am gonna make um a separate links down below on the suggestions i think that you should grab that i'm gonna be grabbing during the sephora savings event that i haven't that i don't have already that i've been wanting to try i love y'all so freaking much <laughs> y'all make me so happy like creating content for y'all talking y'all y'all bring me so much joy love money can't buy this okay money can't buy the connection between you and i so i love you girl hearts put it to the screen yeah and i'll see you in the next video bye